and welcome to the lake at Cromwell Quarry. I'm Helen, editor of 220 Triathlon. We're going to be looking at how to choose the best sweatsuit for you as a beginner in triathlon. I'm joined by Alan Ward from Tri Forward Coaching and also two swimmers new to try, Jenny and Emily. And we're going to talk them through how to choose the best sweatsuit for them, their styles of swimming and the race they're doing. So over to you, Alan. Thanks, Helen. Um, so we've got Emily and Jenny. Emily, can I start with you? Um, can I just ask which race that you're you're aiming for? What distance? What's yeah. going on? Just tell me a bit it's, more. So I um, grew up swimming when I was younger. I have really grown to love open water swimming, um, with Crumb Horse Quarry being down the road for me. I've really learnt and kind of really worked on my endurance swims, and I've got a triathlon in September, which I'd really like to get a good time for and be very confident with my swims. Okay. And Jenny, a little bit the same from you, please. Yeah. So. Um, I've never done a triathlon before. I've got my first one in a couple of weeks and uh, it'll be a super sprint one, so it is the short one. Um, I've always enjoyed swimming, I'm a bit of a water baby and I love open water swimming. I've really just got into it. Never worn a wetsuit before, feeling a bit okay. tripped about it, but uh, yeah, really look forward to it. Thanks. Okay, so we've got some really positive answers there in terms of enjoying open water swimming. Hopefully the wetsuits we're going to look at today will help increase that enjoyment. Obviously, like in terms of keeping you warm, that's going to make a difference. Buoyancy is going to make a difference the big thing is always going to be fit we've got the couple of different versions of the suits so you've got the hypex suits which is what emily's going to be looking at in a minute and as a more experienced swimmer that's got slightly thinner yamamoto material in it which is slightly less buoyant this suit that you've got on the predator version here jenny has got the thicker four mil yamamoto neoprene which is obviously going to give you a little bit more buoyancy so through the chest especially and through the legs, it's going to help you to float in the water and will just give you that little bit more reassurance in terms of how you are in the water, but also potentially help you to swim that little bit faster by giving you a really good body position in the water. You said to us earlier when we were off camera about your legs being a little bit lower, this suit should really help with that. And hopefully when we get in the swim, you should definitely feel that. Emily, so an experienced swimmer, Bit of swimming background so what we're going to do is look at putting on the hypex tour which is obviously as we said a moment ago a little bit less buoyant um but you've told us that fit and size i struggled with fit because i've gone for small sizes and then i felt that it's too tight in the chest or i can't get that reach when i'm doing front pull and yeah. um, it just all sort of feels a bit constrictive um but then i've gone a size up and then it's too big because i'm quite short okay well let's see how you get on with this one okay. If you if you let it drop down, yeah. is if you pull on the inside of the suit, you're never going to nick it or damage it. Whereas if you yeah. pull on the outside, okay. yeah. So wherever you can, always try and pull on the inside. And again, if you go for those thicker rolls on the outside, but generally with wetsuits, a couple will fit you, um, and one will feel really difficult to get on, and one will feel easy to get on. Mm -hmm. But they're designed to work when wet. So if it is a bit difficult to put on now, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So just keep persevering and it might become wonderful when it's wet. I just grab it at the back first. So try and if you you know where the um, the bottom of the wetsuit zip is, you can yeah. that's quite a strong bit. If you grab that. Yeah. If you try and get one arm on. You go go for this one. If I slide that glove, the glove off. Yeah. Okay, so if you take this bit up your arm, keep going. I grab here as well. So you just want to make sure you grab the bits underneath as well. So pull through. Is that about where you would normally go to? Yeah? Okay, let me have a look at the zip. So if I grab the zip, pull it in. How, what's your thoughts? I mean, it's, it's tight, but it feels... Um Try popping your arms up, streamlined. Can you go, where's it pull? Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. pull the arms up a little further then. So it's always a good test because obviously you've got to go to that point exactly. as you're swimming. How's that feeling? A bit better, yes. Yeah, okay. All right, but the, I can see the legs are quite long. So let's have a look. If you spin around face the camera for me. 
So relax your arms. You can see with these ones, if it wasn't quite right, if we, if you could peel that over for me, because I don't want to pinch you. So it's quite tight. You can see, obviously, you've got the tape seams here. So what you can do is you can adjust the arm length with okay. these. Um, you could just trim them to fit. So if these were really long, yeah. then obviously you could cut that back a little bit. It looks like it's quite a good fit in terms of the length. The legs, however, so it's quite common generally with female swimmers that you can get lower back pain because the legs can be so buoyant that your, your legs arch. You get that impingement in yeah. your lower back. So in your spine, in and around this area, just above your hips, you get that compression of your vertebrae which is not really that comfortable if you trim the legs down that's going to decrease the buoyancy of the legs a little bit but it you know so that might help the impingement because of that curve the other thing that might do is if you kick as well when you're swimming if your feet are up out of the water due to that excess buoyancy then you can feel really odd swimming because your kick's not there and your kick's so important for the rhythm timing and general bringing together your strokes so if your legs are out of the water it, that can feel just odd. So trimming the legs can be a great idea. Um, should we have a go with the zip? Yeah, let's go. So quite often with suits, the, the where your shoulder is here, you just need to make sure it's over the joint. Okay. So each, obviously, ankles, knees, hips, wrist, elbows, shoulders, those are all the joints that we're trying to move. So if you think about getting it over the joints so the joint can do what it needs to do, that can make a really big difference. I'm just gonna pop my hand in, if that's okay and pull it on a little bit more. Try and get a little bit closer. Okay, you can relax your arms. See how it goes up relatively easy. Okay, if we spin around, give it some swimming arms and see how it feels. Yeah, much better. Cool, okay, so it's- lost that tightness here, which is good. Great, okay. So it's always worth that extra little bit of time. We spend a lot of time in the pool. We spend a lot of time obviously swimming in the lake, but an extra five minutes putting on the suit correctly can be the key thing that makes the difference. Good, thank you. Okay, so back with Emily and Jenny. You've had a swim in the suits now. Jenny, do you want to give us your thoughts on the Predator Thor suit that you're swimming today? Yeah, so it's really, I've always swum in skin, so it's really, really different and very, very buoyant. So I think it would get a bit of getting used to, but really comfortable, don't have any problems with my stroke or anything like that. And actually, it was nice to relax a bit. Um, so yeah, quite quite different for me, but um, I like it, yeah. Okay, so slowing down a little bit to start yeah. with was super helpful. Emily? Uh, yeah, for me, so my issues were just being able to get that reach and something, and I felt that with the help, you know, fitting it on and then actually now getting the right size, I'm really able to reach out and just the chest size is also much better as well. So in terms of obviously chafing, yeah. but also removing the suit, that can help. Sometimes even around your shoulder and your armpit, a little bit of lubricant under the suit can help just to ease the suit moving, especially if you were doing a really long swim, that can help as well. Um, cool. Thank you. So thank you on behalf of all of us at 220 Triathlon, to Alan, to Jenny and to Emily for their time. Hopefully you at home have all learned some great tips today about finding the right wetsuit for you as well. To find out more about the Zogs range, go to zogs.com and we'll see you again soon.